On the front you have uh, two 30 pound propane tanks. It does have an auto changeover valve. This arrow right here is pointing towards this tank, which means that's your main supply. When this is red, it technically means that tank's empty. When we open it up, it goes green to let you know that there's propane. As long as this valve here is open, it will automatically switch from this tank over to this one once it's empty. In behind, your batteries are in the box there. Your battery disconnect switch, so when the key comes out, that's in the off position. Key goes in, turns around just like so. This is in the on. Light switch for this, light is underneath. You have four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner of the trailer. There is a three quarter inch crank inside for you. Fresh water fill on the side here, so you just put your water into here. To drain this is the uh, white valve down here at the bottom for you. Sewer connection, so your black water is on the right hand side with a black handle. Gray water is on the left hand side with a gray handle. City water connection is here. Uh, this here is your tank flush black water. Always remember to have your black water valve pulled when you're flushing your tank. Uh, antifreeze inlet and satellite and cable hookups. Right here is your 30 amp cord, so you're just going to plug your cord into here. 25 feet of cord does come with the trailer. Hot water heaters on the back. This is a DSI electric, uh, so all the switches for this are inside the trailer. Outside shower, hot and cold taps there. This track here is for the outside griddle and the side table. The propane for the griddle is right down here at the bottom. Please remember to always keep that yellow plug in the connection when you're tra traveling. Furnace exhaust is here. Uh, this is to, if you want to bring your TV to the outside. Cable hookup, two 110 plugs. Outside speakers up the top. The orange light there, that is your porch light. The uh, range hood is right below that. So these guys here, you just push up on the little tabs to open that up and then push close for travel. You do also have an LED strip underneath the awning as well. Up at the front here, if you want to add solar panels, you can plug in right here with them. You do have the Moride step. So this here, you just simply grab a hold, pull it down to the down position here. When you're putting these steps in the down position, there's two little pins, one on each side here. Those pins come out to adjust this leg up and down. When your step is all the way down, your first rotation of the door should be very slow. You want to make sure that the door clears the bottom of the steps. As soon as we come in the trailer here, this is your main panel. So interior lights are here, porch light, awning, Wi-Fi ranger. Your password for the Wi-Fi ranger is directly below. Uh, slide out button is here, awning button is here, uh, hot water heater on electric, hot water heater on gas, water pump, all your uh, level gauges, so your battery, fresh water, black water, and gray water. Uh, panel down here at the bottom, this is your main converter, so all your 110 breakers are here, all your 12 volt fuses are there. To the left of that is your uh, LP carbon oxide detector. Radio up on the, the, the cabinetry here. Uh, this is also a DVD player to play to the TV as well for you. Your stove top, always remember to lift your glass before you light your stove. Turning on whichever one you wish to turn on and using the igniter here to ignite. On the wall, this is your uh, thermostat. So this is going to control your air conditioner and your furnace. Uh, so for heat, set it to heat, set your temperature. Uh, for cool, turn it over to cool, set your temperature. That's when this button here comes into effect. Auto means the fan is going to turn on and off with the compressor, and on means the fan is going to stay on all the time. Bathroom, everything in the bathroom is pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, so toilet is a foot flush. So right here on the right hand side, you're just going to push down that to flush. Main GFI is located underneath the sink. Light switch on the wall. Turns on your lights, everything. Fantastic fan up on the roof. So you're gonna pull down the crank, opening up the vent. Selecting your fan speed with the buttons. Once you're done, press the off button and you can close your vent lid. And lock the vent down. For travel, you always wanna make sure your shower doors are locked. We do have the aquamizer in here, uh, so this means that it is designed to repurpose water while you're using your fresh water. 
The blue elbow on the left hand side there, it will turn gray when you turn the hot water on and lift this valve up just like so. So this is repurposing the water. Once it turns gray, that means the hot water is here. You can then turn this elbow down towards the line again and have your shower. Fridge operation, so all the controls are inside the freezer here. So up here at the top, this is an audible system. So the check light came on, which means right now we're in propane mode only. Uh, so if you want to run on 110, you press the button in, the auto light comes on. So this is going to automatically pick 110 if it's available. If not, it is going to run on propane. Your dinette here, uh, so to, to take your table down, you're just going to simply lift up on the table here yellow button here, pushing it over, rotating this guy down just like so, and then it's going to come down and sit onto these black pucks. Power cord is in the bag here for you, so again that's 25 feet. The silver rod here, this is for your power, power jack, this is for your stabilizer jacks, this is your manual override for your tip out in the box here this is your griddle all the hardware and everything to mount it on the side of the trailer is in the box for you you do also have the side table here brown envelope is your uh, owner's manual bag so all the literature for the trailer is there you do get a barbecue lifter fresh water filter you get two heated mattress cords this is your TST uh, tire monitoring system two sets of keys with the trailer radio remote tv remote these guys here are hardware there's four of them in total so you have two for the toilet paper holder and two for the towel bar holder now when you are getting ready to travel down the road when you bring your slide out in you do have a slide out lock So you'll notice at the very top of the wall above the tip out there's a sticker it says place slide out lock here. So you don't have to get 100% on that sticker you do want to get kind of close now that sticker is in the center of the slide out. So this just goes up just like so locks down in behind the flange here and then you just give a couple of cranks to tighten it up. When you have this in, always remember to have this sticker hanging out so that you know that the slide out lock is in. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 519-371-0370 or you can email us at info at terrystrailer.ca.